So in this video, we're going to talk about how to use a sprite sheet and a background to create an animation in GIMP. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Google and look for a sprite sheet. There's literally tons of these. Uh, you're going to find something to your liking. Uh, you're going to uh, open it in a new tab like I did here and then save your image as. So I already have this open up in GIMP. And the first thing I want to do to this is add an alpha channel. I'm going to come to my fuzzy select tool. I'm going to remove the background. And now I'm going to take each of these uh, individual Mega Mans and uh, create them so I can animate them. So I'm going to grab my uh, crop tool. I'm going to go around it. I'm going to click. I'm going to go file, export as. Uh, I'm going to choose to call mine Mega 1. You can already see I've done this before, so my files are done. I would click export. Uh, we're going to replace my existing file and then export. So now to save time, I'm going to hit Control Z and I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go File, Export As, and I'm going to export this now as 2. I'm going to hit not hit Export because I've already done this. And again, to save time, I'm going to hit Control Z. I'm going to do the same thing now here. Uh, file, Export this as PNG 3. And please make sure you're doing it as PNGs. Uh, this way, uh, you have that transparent background. So I'm going to do the same thing to my fourth image, and I'm going to go File, Export, As. And again, this would be Mega 4. So I already have these made. So I have a background that I chose for this now. And this is a little bit of the tedious part. So I'm going to go File, Open as a layer. I'm going to choose that Mega 1 that I created. And there's my Mega Man. I'm going to use my Move tool to get him in the position that I'd like to. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer of the background. So I have another blank copy of the background. We can see it there. And I'm going to go file, open as a layer, and I'm going to do my mega two. So I'm going to use my move tool to position this, seeing my mega one. And what I'm going to do now is mega two goes on top, the blank background goes in the middle, and I'm going to go to this original mega one PNG, and I'm going to merge down. What merge downing does is it joins the PNG with the background layer, so they're one image now. I'm going to duplicate this back blank background. I'm going to go File, Open as a Layer, and go to Mega 3. Again, I'm going to make sure that one's on top. I'm going to grab my Move tool, position this right there. And again, I'm going to take that blank background, put it in between, go to that Mega 2, I'm going to merge down to join those as a layer, and then I'm going to duplicate this blank background again. Next, I'm going to go File, Open as a layer. I'm going to bring in my Mega 4. Again, Move tool to position this one where I'd like it. I'm going to uh, duplicate. Uh, I might not need to. I might have already done that. So. I got a blank background there, blank background there, so I don't need to do that. So I'm going to just grab this blank background, put it in between, go to my mega here, and I'm going to merge down. Now I'm only going to do four for this example. So if you were to keep on going, you would again uh, duplicate that bank blank background and then uh, bring those in as well. So I'm going to merge down. So then I can come to my filters, animation, my playback. And then we can play and we can see that animated uh, GIF right there. Now, again, the more images you bring in in this transition off the sprite map, the better your image is going to look. But it, all it is is taking those PNGs and slightly moving them over and putting that background in between them, that empty background, and then merging it down and joining them together. And then it works just like a flipbook. So again, uh, I could continue to add on to this. I would just go open as a layer. I'd bring in that uh, blank background. And then I would start my process over with open as a layer, my mega one. And I would just use this previous image to move this and get it in my position. And then I would merge down. And I could repeat this process over and over to get the longer animation and go mega two, mega three, mega four. So I hope this helps in your journey.